everyone. Um, welcome to Creative. My name is Jackie. I'm the founder of Creative and I'm an artist here um, in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Today um, I'm going to be taking you step by step through a really fun drawing. I'm going to be using crayons, um, but you could use whatever you'd like, pencils, um, markers, crayons, whatever you have is perfect. I also have a few sheets of white computer paper, um, but you could use construction paper or even a piece of cardboard. Um, I am doing a fun little drawing. It is of a donut that's really happy. It says, don't worry, be happy. Um, of course, you can add whatever you like to this drawing, change the color of the frosting, um, maybe add a few little donut holes or maybe a couple donuts. Um, so just start thinking about how you would like to create your artwork. Um, I'm just gonna show you what I have for supplies. First off, on my tabletop, I have paper. This is just to protect my tabletop um, so I can color right off my edge and um, save my table. I also have a 16 pack of crayons and I have them all um, organized by color just so it's easier for me to um, pick up a color right away. Um, and I also have um, a bowl and a thing of tape. So I'm looking for just some round objects. I'm gonna freehand my donut, but maybe you want to use something to trace. Um, so this tape is perfect, or like a small bowl is also perfect if you would like to um, trace your bowl. Um, all right, so just have fun with this one and uh, make it your own. I'm looking forward to seeing yours. Thank you so much for sending me all of your artwork. I love it. Um, and let's get started. All right, so I am going to start by um, looking at my, my piece of paper. I have mine going the long way. You may want to turn yours um, on its side, whatever feels good to you. Um, I'm also going to use my finger and I'm just going to try to figure out where I would like the placement of my donut to be. On mine, I have these little hands and arms that are um, reaching for the sky. He's throwing some little sprinkles. So I wanna make sure I have enough room um, on my piece of paper to have those hands. And I'm going to use that finger to create my circle, just really figuring out that placement. Or I could go ahead and take my bowl or tape or anything round and go ahead and I'm going to trace it. I'm gonna be using my brown crayon and I like to just do a light, um, a light mark first um, to, in case I want to change anything or um, go over it. So what I'm going to do again is really make sure I have that shape and placement down. And then I'm going to go with my crayon and very lightly, and I can stop. So I can do a little bit, stop, lift up, do a little bit more, stop, lift up, maybe go from this side. Keep in mind, I want room, enough room for those hands. And I hope you're all doing well today. All right, so there is my outside of my donut, and now I need to do that inside circle. So my inside circle is smaller, and it's in the center of my donut. Um, I'm going to use my finger once again to just figure out that placement and how big I want it. If you'd like to, you could use a scrap piece of paper and try it out just so you can see how big your um, center circle, how big you want it to be. Um, so I'm gonna keep mine pretty small um, and I'm just gonna keep it in the middle and I'm gonna wiggle my finger in a circular motion to get the idea down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and again, I can lift up and off um, to make sure that I'm getting that circle How I want it and um, I think what, what were we doing the, the emoji the other day um, I said that you know when you have your paper laying flat sometimes when you turn it up things don't look as round right they start kind of looking more elongated so um, if you have like a book and even like this tape with a book underneath it to kind of prop up your work that would actually um, be really helpful let me see if I have Thing. All right, let me try that just so maybe you can see it a little bit better. So if you have a book and maybe a roll of tape or something to put underneath it and just prop it up a little bit and that will help with um, your roundness and just um, getting your, your drawing. See, I thought 
that was a little bit closer when it was laying flat. But anyway, all right, it's perfect. I love it. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna decide, do I want to have sprinkles? Do I wanna have uh, my frosting on there? I'm gonna do frosting and I'm going to create the edge of my frosting in um, it's kind of like a curvy line that goes all the way around. It's inside my donut and it's on the edge. I'm gonna take my time. I can do it with my finger first and then I'm gonna lightly with that brown crayon, I'm going to add that outer edge of my frosting. And I'm gonna do the same thing in the inside um, of my donut, closer to the donut hole. And I'm just gonna go ahead. Now start thinking about what kind of donut you want to make. Um, I'm gonna have this pink frosting and I'm gonna do some sprinkles on it. You may wanna do chocolate frosting, blue frosting, any color you like, maybe it's multicolored. Um, but I think that looks good so far. So I'm gonna start working on my donut itself. So. If you did the cookie one with me, we did a combination of um, brown and a layer of orange. So if you do kind of a light pressure, so not pushing down so hard um, and just filling in. So I'm gonna lightly fill in, allowing there to be a little bit of white showing through. And I can always build this up. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill in all around my donut and we can turn our picture around to make it more easy to reach the parts that we're coloring. Our picture isn't stuck. And you can be doing this with color pencils, markers, whatever you have is perfect. So I'm just lightly, and I'm um, coloring in following the curve of my donut. Turning my paper. And we're gonna start building up the color and then we're even going to add a little bit of form or roundness to it by adding a little bit of a darker edge. All right, I'm gonna turn it like this. All right, cool, and I'm gonna do the same thing in the inside. So on the inside, I can push down a little bit harder. Um, I'm going to kind of create more um, it's, you know, a hole in there. So I want it to be, I want to be able to go into that donut. So I'll show you. So I'm just going to kind of fill this in. And then right on the edge, the outer edge of my donut, I'm going to start building up my color. So I'm, I am still coloring in, in my donut, um, but I'm just on the very edge. And what this is going to do, it's going to send that part of the donut deeper down so it looks like there's thickness to my donut. And I'm gonna do the same thing now on the edge. Hi, Pa. On the edge. Going on in. So I'm adding a little bit more pressure and I'm taking my time. And again, you can turn your paper. I would love to see your finished artwork. So when you're done, if you wanted to send it to me in a private message or right here um, in the comments below, I would love to see your work. You guys are so creative. 
All right, cool, it already looks good. So I'm gonna start adding my second coat and I'm gonna be using an orange. So I have my orange crayon and I'm gonna lightly go over all of my brown areas. And I'm lightly, lightly adding that You don't have to do this. You could try yellow. So at this time, while you're doing your second coat, start thinking about that frosting color. Start thinking if you wanna add maybe a couple donut holes um, that have faces and arms and legs too, um, to your picture. This is yours. All right, cool. So I'm going to be using um, pink. I'm gonna do pink frosting. You could use whatever color that makes you happy. Um, and I'm gonna do like a medium pressure. I'm gonna start building it up. And um, I am gonna do a little bit of an outline to it. And I can do that in like, um, I have, what do I have here? I have a, a red violet that I might use for my outline. Um, just add a little bit of a pop to it. But of course you can do any color you'd like. My, my pink just broke, that's okay. Um, if your crayons are getting really dull, ask an adult to help you sharpen them. You can use a handheld sharpener, that works perfect. Um, sometimes our crayon boxes come with sharpeners as well, which is awesome. And think about the direction of your crayon, of your mark. Are you doing it all in one direction? Are you getting a little wild and going in all different directions? Are you doing a, um, a, like a round mark? So just like we added multiple layers in our the donut itself, um, we can do that here. I could add my second layer with that red violet if I wanted. That might be cool. And as always, Think about what is underneath your picture because it will create some texture if you have something bumpy under there. Um, so just be aware of that, especially when you're filling in a big area. All right, nice. So I'm gonna pick up my, um, my red violet and I'm going to start just adding a little bit of a darker edge, kind of outlining it. Um, I can do it soft or I can push down hard. Um, if you want more of like a pop look, you could do it nice and sharp and hard. I'm just kind of, um, I just want it to be subtle. Adding a little bit to that edge. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And I'm gonna do um, sprinkles. You maybe wanna do like a drizzle going across or just some crazy pattern. Um, also, at this time, think about what kind of eyes and, um, and like a mouth, if you're going to add those, what kind you'd like, um, because you want to make sure you leave some space for those. Um, I'm going to do, uh, my eyes are kind of closed, and I'm, so I'm going to do some little curves for my eyes, and I'm going to do an open mouth, um, which is a U with a line across. Um, so I'm going to actually do that with my... Um, with my color I have in my hand right now, just get the placement down and I'll add that black later. So I'm going to create my little mouth, which is a nice big U. Practice through finger first, practice on your, um, on your test paper as well if you'd like. And I'm gonna give the top, he's very happy. And then I'm gonna do my little eyes. And I could leave it this color, um, or I could add that black to it later. We'll see. All right, so I have that down and I did my outline and now I'm going to go ahead and start decorating my donut 
and I'm going to be using a few different colors. You could just use any color you'd like or you can take it, take your time and kind of plan that out. Um, so I'm just gonna grab a few of my crayons. I'm gonna use this um, red violet. I'm gonna use my light blue. I'm gonna use some yellow. I'm gonna use my orange and I'm going to use, is that all? I think that's all. But you could use as many as you'd like. Um, I'm gonna use one color at a time and I'm going to add all of my sprinkles. Now my sprinkles weren't laid down one by one. They're kind of thrown on there. So they're gonna go in like all different directions, right? To make it look more um, random and maybe more realistic and they're just gonna be little lines. You could do slight little curves to them, whatever you, um, however you picture sprinkles. Um, so I am going to start with my light blue, just because, and I'm just gonna start adding. And this is where you have to be kind of aware of the tip of your crayon. I really need to sharpen mine, so I have to figure out where that nice little point is that's on there, and I'm going to just start Adding, you even can use the back end, which I think I will use. Here we go. Now we're looking. Slowly building those up. So I'm gonna do just about that many, and I'm going to switch colors. And I might do my red violet, keeping those sprinkles all different directions. And I'm gonna do my yellow. It's my yellow. Um, I'm not gonna see it as, as bright as I would if it was on white, but if I push down pretty hard, I can get, I can see it. And I'm gonna do my orange as well. Every once in a while, it's a good thing to kind of just stop and step away from your piece um, and um, look at it from a distance. That really helps. All right, cool. <laughs> I like them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my black. I think I wanna add that black in there because it's gonna really help pop my little face. And let me just find my crayon. Again, I'm gonna be very aware of my tip of my crayon. Just taking my time, filling that in. And again, at this time, it would be um, I would it would be the time to add my if I'm going to do another donut, if I'm going to do um, any donut holes, dancing around. Okay, maybe his little tongue would be out. That'd be cute. So I am going to start working on my arms and my legs and I want my little guy to be like throwing up the um, sprinkles in the air so his hands are, are big like kind of like a Y or just up and on a diagonal up. I just did really simple. You can get as wild as you'd like. Um, I just did little lines and I added three fingers. I think donuts have three fingers if you were wondering. Um, so I have my brown. You can do whatever color makes you happy. I'm going to use my finger first to kind of figure out where I want those arms and how long I want them. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one. And if you really want to make sure that your um, arms are the same length, if you're worried about that, you can always use your tools as rulers as well. So I'm going to kind of put my tip of my crayon at one end where it starts at the other and I have that measurement here. And now I'm just gonna bring it on over to this side here, put my finger, and now I have the same length. You can do that with your paintbrush. Um, 
or anything you're using. It's a little trick. And I'm going to add three fingers. You can do as many as you like. He's cute. Um, and I'm going to add some legs. You could have yours kind of dancing. You can have them straight. You can have whatever you'd like. You don't even need to have legs if you don't like. Uh, again, I'm going to just kind of practice with my finger and then I'm going to go on in. And I guess you have a decision to make. What color are these shoes? I did black in my other one, but I think I want to add a different color. Um, I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add that red violet. So I'm going to add little shoes. They're going to be red violet. You can get creative. Maybe they're donuts themselves. I don't know. Whatever you like. And I'm going to start working on my sprinkles. So they're thrown up in the air. They're kind of going in an arch and they're going all different ways, right? Because they're just thrown up. Um, I'm going to use the same color combination. You could do different um, if you'd like. So I'm going to put down my brown, pick up my colors that I had in my um, my sprinkles here. Let's see. Am I missing one? I think I'm good. All right. So I'm going to start adding my um, my sprinkles and these again. You toss them up in the air. So we're just going to go around like that. Think about how long they are. Stop every once in a while and kind of look like step back from your work. I really appreciate, um, I've had some really generous people donate to me. I really appreciate it. I love um, doing these videos. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm going to any blue up there I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that let's see let's see how that comes out oh I did green instead I see hmm. I'm gonna add a couple green then maybe I'll add a couple green in here as well awesome um, and there are some that have fallen and they're going to be more like flat right on the ground or wherever he's standing, whatever he's standing on. So the same colors, I'm just going to do a few kind of flat down here. If you have any ideas of what you would like to um, create, let me know. Send me a message. Always looking for ideas. And my orange. All right, cool. So I am going to write my words on my canvas first, and then I'm gonna start filling my background. So at this time, maybe start thinking about your background. Think about, do you wanna do it all one solid color? I did mine on an angle, and then once I got down to his feet, I went back and forth flat. Um, but maybe you could do um, multiple colors um, or, I don't know, I would love to see what you guys come up with. Um, I am going to write Donut Be, Donut Worry Be Happy um, on mine. You could do something different. When I'm going to, when I'm drawing or when I'm writing on my work, it's important to really plan out the, the placement of my letters. Um, so I'm gonna take my time and I'm going to, you could either write with a pencil, super light, you wanna do it light even if you can erase, or um, just with your finger, kind of figure out how big each letter is gonna be and how much room it's gonna take. Um, I'm just going to um, use my crayon, I'm gonna look with my finger, or touch with my finger on my canvas, on my paper, uh, and get the placement down. Then I'm gonna go in with my crayon. Make sure you're spelling it right. Um, it happens, <laughs> um, but just want to make sure you have the right spelling um, on there. So I'm going to um, do donut, worry, and then be in the center. You could do it totally different if you'd like. And I'm going to go over some of these sprinkles over here.
and I'm going to do worry. I practice with my finger before using my crayon. I'm going to put the word B right in the middle. And then I'm going to do happy. I decided to do two letters on the outside of his leg, two letters in the middle, and then one on the outside. You could do however you want. Again, just practice with your finger before you go ahead with your crayon. Um, but I'm going to do P, P, Y, H, A. All right, cool. And I'm going to do an exclamation point right here. Just kind of balance it off. And I'm going to add these three little lines. Maybe they're three um, sprinkles right on there. They can be different colors or all the same. I'm going to do my light green. I'm going to do one, two, three. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side here. One, two, three. And now that I'm looking at my drawing, um, I kind of feel as though I want to have a little bit of a darker edge to my donut just to help it pop a little bit more. So I'm going to add a little bit more of that brown, just pushing down a little bit harder right on the edge. I think it's going to help with popping. So at this time, before we get that background color in, this is a great time if you're going to add any donut holes, any other donuts, any other um, anything you can think of. Try it out on your paper first. Make it a little bit darker. It's cool. All right, awesome. I think he's great. So I'm going to start by adding my background color. I'm going to do um, on an angle. I'm going to start filling in. You remember you can turn your paper. It doesn't have to stay still. I'm going to grab that light blue and I'm going to start in this corner here. Uh, this is where having something underneath some paper underneath your, your drawing comes in handy because I can go right off without worrying about coloring on my table. And once I get close to my donut, I'm just going to take my time. I'm going to continue on this angle all the way down till I reach his feet. And then I'll turn my brush, well, my crayon mark um, going right to left. But I'm just going to turn my paper like this just so I can continue on over here. I'm going right off. And I always can do like a second coat on my words if I need to. Continue on that same angle, just make sure, just take a peek and see what that angle is. And don't forget to do the inside of your circle. And I'm going to turn it this way after I bring it down. And I'm just going to add a little bit more pressure right underneath the feet, maybe to create a little bit of shadow. You could do this part a totally different color, saying it's like you know a tabletop or something, but I'm just going to do it just like this. Maybe you can um, think of a name for your little guy. And yeah, I think that looks great. 
So you can go back and add like a second color layer to layer your colors. You can um, add any outlines you'd like. Um, definitely initial or sign somewhere that makes you happy. Um, and thank you so much for for coloring with me today. I hope you had fun. Um, I will be painting tonight at seven if anyone wants to join me and I think we're painting again tomorrow. So um, keep an eye out for those posts. I will post the picture and what supplies are needed. But of course, if you don't have paints, crayons, markers, colored pencils work perfect. Um, I'm using acrylic paint tonight, um, but I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'm looking forward to seeing you all again soon. Thanks, bye.